What's up, guys? Welcome back to DaVinci Trades. Today, we'll be going over how to stake your AVAX on your ledger device for passive income and maximum security. There are a few more steps involved with this, but I've made everything easy for you to understand. So if you could, drop a like for this video and a sub is always appreciated. Let's get started. As always, the first thing we want to do is make sure our ledger device is hooked up to our computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Put in your pin code. We'll navigate to the Manager tab in Ledger Live, click this. Double click to allow Ledger Live to manage your device. And we can go ahead and put our Ledger down for now. In Ledger Live, we're gonna go ahead and type AVAX into the search field. On the right side, go ahead and click Install. And on your Ledger device, it should say Loading Please Wait. Excellent, great job, you've installed AVAX on your Ledger device. Now we're gonna move over to your favorite exchange. Today we're gonna be using Coinbase because it is one of the most common exchanges used by beginners. Now I'm going to assume that you guys already have some AVAX in your account. If you haven't already, go ahead and buy some. You can use the cash in your account, do a big transfer, whatever the case may be, just make sure that you have some AVAX in your account before navigating through this next step. All right, so you have AVAX in your account and it's ready to be sent. So what we're gonna do now is open up a new tab in your browser. In the search bar, we're gonna type in wallet.avax.network and you'll come up to this page. Once you get here, we're gonna click Access Wallet and we're gonna click Ledger. If your Ledger device is hooked up to your computer and Ledger Live is active, then you will see your Ledger device populate in the pop-up window on the top left. Go ahead and click it and click Connect. If you get this window, no problem at all, your Ledger device went in standby, go ahead and put in your PIN and allow Ledger Live to manage your device once again. Also make sure that when you access your Ledger device, you double click on the Avalanche icon on your Ledger device, like this. After you've done all that, refresh the page, click Ledger, and then reconnect your Nano. On this page, it'll say check your Ledger device. So what we're gonna do is grab our Ledger and we're gonna confirm the public keys that are on the screen with the ones that are on our Ledger device. Navigate to the Accept icon using the right button and then double click Accept. You'll have to do this a total of two times, one for each public key. All right, great job. This is our AVAX wallet. Now what we're gonna do is navigate to the top right corner. It says, this is your X chain address to receive funds. Your address will change after every deposit. So what we're gonna do, you see how it says X, P, and C here? We're gonna click C. Now this is your C chain address used to interact with the Ethereum virtual machine. We're gonna use this address. We're gonna copy it. And it should say copy to clipboard on the top right corner. We're gonna navigate back over to our exchange, in this case, Coinbase. On the top right corner, we're gonna click send and receive. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna click send all. And in the to section, I'm gonna paste our wallet address. I'm gonna to go to continue and then click send now. Now my transaction went through automatically. However, in some cases, you guys might have to complete a two-factor authentication process using an authenticator app on your mobile device. If that's the case, go ahead and pause this video, complete that, and then after you're done, just click done. Once that's complete, navigate back to your AVAX wallet. And as you can see, that transaction was pretty much instant. I now have roughly one AVAX in my AVAX wallet. Now we're definitely not done yet. There are a few more steps to this process. So if it makes sense and this is working out for you guys, drop a like and once again, a sub is appreciated. Now in your AVAX wallet, what you're gonna do is navigate to the left side of the screen and click cross chain. Now in the source chain field where it says X chain, we're gonna click and click C chain. In the destination chain, we're gonna click P chain. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna max out my transfer amount, which is 1.2 AVAX. However, you can transfer any amount that you want to your P chain. The reason we're transferring from one chain to another is because the P chain in AVAX is the only one that supports staking. So after you have your transfer amount, go ahead and confirm and then click transfer. 
Navigate over to your Ledger device. You may have to put in your PIN code in again, and after you've done that, please confirm these actions on your Ledger device. Once you've navigated to the right and accepted the first hash, you'll have to sign the second hash. Another screen will pop up and you'll have to navigate to the right side again, signing the last hash. In the top right corner, it'll say transfer complete. And on the bottom left, it'll say you have successfully transferred between chains. Great job. Now, obviously, we don't have 25 AVAX in this account right now, so what I'm going to do is navigate to this page, and I'm going to go through all these steps with you. All of these steps are the same steps that we would go through if we had that 25 AVAX in our account. So with 25 AVAX in your account, we're going to go to Add Delegator, and a page will pop up with a drop-down menu of all the node IDs. These are the validators that you're going to delegate your AVAX to. Now, for some of you, you might have no idea what you're looking at right here, and that's no problem at all. You can go to the top right corner and click Filter, and then they give you some decent parameters to follow on this page. So for your 25 AVAX, which is your minimum available delegation, you can put a maximum fee of 5%. Now this is your fee that the validator is going to take from the reward pool before it's paid out. Your validator is also going to want to have a minimum uptime of 99%. It can go up to 100%. With this criteria, we're at 107 validators, so you can click Apply Filter. After that, you're going to want to select your validator. Next, enter the amount that you wish to delegate. Again, we know that the minimum amount that we can delegate is 25 AVAX. You can change the staking end date manually and set up some other wallet address to receive the reward if you want. Now you guys might not be able to see this very well, but it does say staking end date. Your AVAX tokens will be locked until this date. You can choose this date. You have a maximum locking period of up to one year and you have a minimum locking period of two weeks. Obviously, the longer you stake your tokens, the more rewards you'll receive. Once you've chosen the amount that you want to stake and your staking duration, you can go ahead and confirm and submit. And just like before, we're going to navigate over to our Ledger device, and it's going to ask us to confirm these transactions on your Ledger device. Again, if your Ledger device has gone into standby mode, you're going to have to put in your PIN again. I know that's super annoying, but it's just how it goes. Once the transaction is successful, you will receive a confirmation message on your screen, and it should look something like this. Now, once you've confirmed your delegations, navigate back to your AVAX wallet. You may have to reconnect to your AVAX wallet using your Ledger device. Again, super annoying, but it's just how it goes. It's something you're going to have to do every time you connect to your AVAX wallet. So once you've done that, you're going to go on the left-hand side and click Activity, click Validation and Delegation, and you will see your validation transaction here. Now remember, the reason you have to connect your Ledger to the AVAX wallet every time is because the private keys used to access your AVAX are on your Ledger device, which means your AVAX is secured by your Ledger. The AVAX wallet is essentially just a user interface that allows you to view your AVAX and its rewards. I hope that makes sense. Once again, drop a like for the video, subscribe to the channel. There are links in the description below for free cryptocurrencies. We'll see you next time. Thank you.